Hey friends and welcome back to a new video and today I wanted to share with you things that I've stopped caring about or care a lot less about now that I'm a minimalist. I've been pursuing minimalism now for about four years and I've really evolved as a person. My mindset has changed and with that my actions have also changed. Minimalism is all about getting rid of the excess, getting rid of all that noise, all the unnecessary stuff and being really intentional about what you bring into your life. Everything in our life consumes either time or money or energy and we have a limited amount of these resources so we have to be really intentional about how we want to spend these resources and with minimalism we choose to spend these resources in a more concentrated matter on few selected areas and things that truly bring us value and with that bring us joy and peace in our life instead of spreading thin all those resources into many different areas of our life. So we're paring down and focusing in on areas and things that are truly important to us. And everything else is excess that we want to cut out. And with this, I realized there are many things that I just stopped caring about and as a minimalist in an effort to preserve those resources. So time, money, and energy. And today I wanted to share that with you guys. So the number one thing I stopped caring about that much are aesthetics. So I used to be really into aesthetics, aesthetics of home, of clothes, of makeup looks, just aesthetics in general. And don't get me wrong, I do still care about aesthetics, but I just don't invest as much time and energy into it as before. So I used to want this Pinterest perfect home where I had so many pin boards on this is how my entrance is supposed to look like, this is how my bedroom is supposed to look like, and I planned everything down to the details. And now I don't really care about that anymore. I do want a home that I find pretty and comfortable and I feel well in, but I'm not that keen on the aesthetics anymore. It's not about being perfect anymore. Another example, I used to have two watches and two pairs of sneakers to tailor to switch in between depending on what the rest of my outfit was looking like and now I just want one pair of sneakers one watch because you don't really need more than that and I try to look for things that are more universal and are able to fit many different occasions and outfits and it's more so about the functionality so that it can cater to many different looks um, than wanting each look to be perfect. I don't think I care less about aesthetics now because I'm a less aesthetic person now. I am still an aesthetic person and I really appreciate good aesthetics, but now I've just weighed out the cost and benefit. So to have this amazing, beautiful Pinterest home, you have to put so much money and time and energy into it. And for me personally, yes, having this Pinterest perfect home would be really nice, but it isn't really worth the resources that I have to put into it. I just know that perfecting the aesthetics is not going to make me happier, so why invest so many resources into aesthetics if it's not going to make my life quality better or make me much happier? Then number two of things that I care less about now are my looks so you could kind of apply aesthetics onto myself in this area. Of course, it'd be a lie if I were to say that I absolutely don't care about my looks at all anymore, but I definitely care about my looks less than I used to. I used to not be able to or not be willing to go out of my house without any makeup on and now I've even gone to work without makeup and yes, there are days where that feels more difficult to do than other days, but in general, I feel like I'm much better when it comes to things like my looks. I'm not as particular with grooming my eyebrows and um, just wearing less makeup in general, but also I'm okay with wearing mismatched things if that means I can be more comfortable and just be out the door faster. Whereas before I was 
definitely more particular um, when it comes to really looking put together and nice. With minimalism, I know that I can live happily with less. In the same way with aesthetics, I now realize I can live happily without putting so much emphasis on aesthetics. So I'm far more okay with things not being as pretty and as aesthetic as I used to be. Something else I care far less about now that I'm a minimalist is shopping and browsing. Now this one might be a no-brainer, but I really don't enjoy going shopping anymore. It feels more stressful and gives me anxiety than it gives me pleasure. And I used to really love to go shopping as a pastime with friends and it was really fun. And I even had this pressure of having to buy something at least one thing each time I go shopping and I guess as a teen there was also this dream vision that I got from the movies of coming back from a successful shopping trip with just handfuls of shopping bags because that was what was shown to me in media and you'd see these beautiful successful happy women with these full shopping bags so I felt like I had to emulate that and now I know that you don't need to go shopping to be happier at all and I also know that going into stores and shopping the possibility of me getting triggered and wanting to buy something that I find cute or pretty is just higher than if I were to avoid the shops at all and when I do avoid the shops I definitely don't miss it at all I don't feel like I'm missing out in comparison to if I were go to the store I'd feel much more like I'm missing out like oh I don't have this and this is new to me maybe I should get this because I don't have this or other people have it and I don't. Nowadays I just much rather go for a coffee, go for a walk, grab a book, do activities with or without um, others that are just much more detached from consumerism. Number five of things that I care less about now is being like everyone else. Now I mean this by I am not afraid to deviate from the norm. So common, even common household items that people usually have that we don't have, like a toaster, a microwave. I know air fryers are a big thing, like a kitchen aid, a coffee machine, a TV. Now, maybe a lot of you also don't have these things. I know they're definitely not must have, but going far more to the extreme, we don't have a bed. Well, at least not a bed frame. We just sleep on a mattress on the floor. Um, we don't have a sofa. We sit on cushions <laughs> on the floor and we're really happy with our setup and it definitely is far from the norm and in the beginning I was a little bit not scared but um, cautious of what other people might think if they come over and we don't have a sofa I felt like I really had to excuse the fact that I don't own a sofa but now I'm so much more comfortable and relaxed with devi deviating from the norm and not having things just because it's normal to have things or you're meant to have this because I know what I need and don't need, where I want to spend my resources and where I don't feel like I have to spend my resources. I know what brings me value and I know what is and isn't important to me. Number six of things I don't really care for anymore are following fashion and interior accounts. So as I previously stated, I am into aesthetics and fashion is fun, of course. I also had a makeup period where makeup is fun, interior is fun, but I found that following these accounts, especially online on social media, it more so pushed me to consumerism. Seeing these accounts, I more so felt like, oh, I don't have this, I should get this, or oh, I think I'm missing this, I should get this, everyone has this, I need this. And I more so had the sense of my style isn't good enough, whether it was clothes or interior, I felt like the style of other people was better and I should want to reach that level of 
stylishness. During a no buy challenge that I did, I unfollowed fashion and interior accounts because I felt like they were triggering me into consumerism and I really wanted to stick to my no buy. And unfollowing all these accounts, I felt like it was going to be sad or lacking in some way because I would now not have all this amazing inspiration, these creative ideas, but I realized I felt more at peace not following these accounts because I wasn't constantly bombarded with this is the newest look and this is the newest style and have you seen this? Have you tried this? And this constant feed of information. I felt like I was so much more able to come to find my own style in a sense. Not that I consciously went and looked for my style, but because I didn't have that constant input from outside, I was able to let my own sense of style come through by just simply wearing things that I have and that I enjoy and using things in my home that I have and I enjoy and un unintentionally you kind of put together a style that way because each person is different, each person is unique in the things that they like and don't like and use and don't use and that way you just automatically are creating a own sense of style because you're a unique person, if that makes sense. So instead of following all these accounts and unconsciously also, maybe also consciously trying to emulate these accounts, you kind of lose your own sense of style and your own sense of self. Now I'm far less fashion and interior focused, at least energetically. Yes, I do still enjoy these topics, but I'm not so much focused in on it anymore and I can spend my time, money and energy in other areas that I do find more value and joy in, that I gravitate towards on my own account without having all this input from outside telling me to put my energy into these areas. And last but not least, something that I don't really care for as much at least anymore is people pleasing. So as I said, minimalism, with minimalism you truly come to think about, I have money, time and energy, these are my resources and they are truly limited. So how do I want to spend these resources to make the best of it, to put it into areas that really bring me value, bring me joy and they're just make me happy and with that you also realize I don't have time to say yes to commitments that I wouldn't say yes to on my own that I know I won't 100% enjoy and so I don't go to parties or I rarely drink alcohol and I just don't participate in and do things for I guess for the sake of others if I wouldn't do this on my own then I won't say yes to it just because someone else is expecting me to participate in it. So these were my seven things that I now care far less about now that I'm a minimalist and it truly feels like a weight has been lifted off. It feels more free. I feel more in control of how I want to spend my life and what direction I want to guide my life into and it's been a very positive experience so far. I'd really love to know if you've encountered or realized that, that you are different now that you are pursuing minimalism. Maybe you're just starting out. Maybe you're already on this journey for quite some time. What are some things that you have noticed? I'm sure that everyone's experience is very different so i'd really love to hear from you i always really like reading your comments and interacting with you guys so thank you so much for spending your precious limited time with uh, me on this channel on this video so i really truly appreciate it and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and send it to someone that could really benefit from minimalism or that is already into minimalism and you know would really enjoy this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!